hi guys welcome back to my channel happy new year's thank you guys so much for sticking around thank you guys for being here with me i know i went on a hiatus and it simply because i was trying to do my beauty room over over the holiday season i did get some new equipment so i'm just trying to get everything together i'm actually filming that process to show you guys what i'm going to change around the new equipment that i got so i really hope you guys stick around and i um just wanted to come today to film something new for you guys it's something that i've done here before on my channel but with a different technique so this is just my updated fingal coil style and it took me an hour and a half to do so and as you can see it's nice it's full my hair isn't crunchy i don't have a cast and i'm loving the results so far so i wanted to just film something for you guys so that you can know that i'm still here and just my appreciation for having you guys to come back and stick around and be with me if you haven't done so already go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you won't miss out on anything that i post here on my channel and if you haven't done so please go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. I'll link my Instagram page below. If I'm not posting here on YouTube, I do post on Instagram, whether it be hair tips, any kind of motivational pictures, um, just styles in general that I'm doing throughout the week that I don't have time to record. I'll go on Instagram, on live, or just on my stories. And I post a lot of things there. So make sure you go over and subscribe and again thank you guys so much for being here with me i cannot thank you all enough um make sure you guys comment below let me know what you'll like to see it's a new year i'm getting prepared for better content i'm just so ready to pour out everything that i have just come together with with me filming and making sure that i give you guys what you're asking for so if it's a new product out there that you want me to try let me know if it's a style that you want me to do let me know and i'll do my best to go ahead and make that video for you guys and as always don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one later Okay, so we're back and this is what the back of my hair looks like. I actually did the right side first, so that's why you don't see any of the white residue left over. And I started my hair at 9 o'clock. It is now 10, so it took me an hour to do the back side of my hair, which was more like 30 minutes per side. Um... I used to do my finger coils bigger and then I would go in and separate them the next day but I actually like this way so I decided to film this for you guys so that you can see that there are other ways that you can do your finger coils. So I just have these two sections left and I sectioned my hair off in fours in order for me to be able to take my time to actually do them. So this side is pretty dry. It's still a little damp, but for the most part, it's dry. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys how I do this section. And I really recommend that if you're going to do this, make sure that you have no plan set for that day, at least for two hours, um, just because it may take time depending on your hair, the type, the type of products that you're using, and how big or how small you're going to do them. Now, if you're going to do them bigger and then separate them the next day, then you can, that will take anywhere from 30 minutes to maybe even an hour. But because I am doing them smaller, it's going to take me time. So, enough of me yapping. And then this is how we're starting off. And just gonna go in with my detangler, my denim brush. Start from the ends and then make my way up to the roots. 
just making sure to take away any tangles. And because my hair is probably already dry at this point, it's not fully dry, but it's partially dry, I am going to use my water bottle. In this water bottle, I just have water and olive oil. So just a nice spritz. And then I like to rub the water through. And because I don't have my oil mixture ready, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this almond oil and a little of the castor oil in my hands and rub that on the section of hair. Then for my leave-in, I'm going to be using my Bella Curls Leave-In Conditioner. You don't need a lot because if you put too much, then it will leave that white residue on the top. So I just like to start from the roots and then work my way down to the ends, making sure to work that product in thoroughly before I add the next product. I really should have some clips on hand, but I can't seem to keep up with clips. So I'm just gonna use my fingers and kind of separate. Um, like I said, it matters. It depends how big or how small you're gonna do yours. So I haven't been parting my hair, just been making little small sections and separating the hair with the hair tie that I'm not actually working with. Okay, so this is the section that we're gonna work with. Some of my hair is trying to get in with the other curls. So then I'm gonna take my Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flexseed Elongating Curling Gel. And you want to make sure that you take enough. You don't need a lot. So I'm just taking fingerfuls, again, starting at the root and then working the product down. So, we're gonna start with this one. And I'm just gonna give you a close up. And what I like to do is just, before I start, I pull the product through that piece of hair that I'm currently getting ready to twist. And once I feel great with it, as you can see, the product works well just as a wash and go. And I have done a video with a wash and go using this, so I will link that down below so you guys can watch that. And if you would like to try it, you can. But here we go. So you, there are two ways that you can do um, finger coils. You can do them using the one hand method or the two hand method. I'm going to show you both. So we're going to start off with the one finger method. And it's just simply coiling it around one piece. And then you're gonna you're using just that one finger which is my pointer finger and I'm just constantly going around with it until I feel satisfied with it and then you just let it go and there's your finger coil once it draws up you'll have a nice coil and then there's the two finger method
Okay guys, so this is what we're looking like and my hair is about 50% dry and I'm going to say 50% because the back is fully dry. I can actually go through if I wanted to I can separate more but I just like how it looks here so I'm going to leave it there and as you can see that bounce back it's no crunch. So I'm actually loving it. This was actually quicker than any of my other finger coil styles that I have done before and I just applied some of my Maury's edge wax that you guys seen earlier for my edges. Um, I don't like to do any extra designs or anything like that. I just like to make sure that they're laid flat. So if you wanted to, you can use a diffuser to better dry your hair but because I want to watch the amount of heat that I put on my hair and I don't own a diffuser I'm just going to let my hair air dry I'm going to go out and run a couple of errands so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to comment like and subscribe and let me know what you would like to see next on my channel thank you guys so much for watching bye